Good afternoon. It's Monday the 9th of November 2020. Uh, I was just to update on my plans for this winter because of the COVID in the lockdown. I'm a little bit restricted in what I can do. However, I've been thinking about this for a while just as a something to do really. It seems the perfect time to do it now. Um, basically, I'm going to walk all the registered for public footpaths of North Northumberland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the localised ones first round where I live, tick them off, and then I'm going to move further afield. And I'm going to cross them off as I do them. Nearly slipped. It was just to give you an update. I'm walking through um, a meadow which is on the back of Blake Law Road in Annick. It's strange that having lived in Annick for almost a quarter of a century, I've never actually walked through this field before. There's electric fences on both sides because um, usually there's a few horses in this meadow. There doesn't look to be any in at the minute. But I'm just keeping Alfie close by because I don't want him to get an electric shock. He's had one before as a pup and he didn't enjoy it. That meadow I walked through about five minutes ago, it's actually called Hope House Farm Meadow. And now walking on along the other side of that, behind me there is that, that is Hope House Farm. But yeah, we're heading back down there, we're getting to pick up another, the uh, public footpath. morning. Oh, it's happy birthday. It's happy birthday today, 10th of November. 52. Anyway, I'm continuing with the um, public highways or the public footpaths, rights of way. I think they're listed as on the um, Northumberland County Council website, so the rights of way. They're all designated unique reference numbers. The Anik ones, I think, start with 104 slash 1234, whatever. Um, I've just done 01, um, and I'm currently on another footpath. I don't know its unique designated number as of yet, but I will list it in the video. But yeah, just trying to crack on. I don't know where this one goes to, because it seems to go to the year one.
Okay, this footpath now ends at the A1, um, which is a main uh, single carriageway road running through Northumberland up towards the Scottish border. The footpath here bears off to the left. I've never gone this way before and it's a bit, it looks a bit rough. Um, but I am going to do it because I, I do intend to compete all over the footpaths. So, a bit muddy, but I've got um, some good uh, sturdy shoes on. Yeah. I said it was going to be muddy, didn't it? Good afternoon. This is footpath 104-013. I'm looking for some. I'm out with Gemma and Alfie. It's um this public footpath um, goes up the back of Merchant Gardens up towards Annick Castle Golf Club. It's literally only about maybe 500 metres maximum. So it shouldn't take too long. It then extends onto another one of the public rights of way, which we're going to walk. Go on. Alfie, what are you eating? Stop eating the grass. You better watch where you walk, and otherwise you're going to go forward. It'll be your own stupid fault. Just an update. This is public footpath 104 slash 40. It's basically skirts around the, um, the northern flank of the Annick Castle Golf Club. Um, just further down there is the old site of the old uh, railway line which used to run between Annick uh, and Wooler. But yeah, so this is the 104 40. We're just on this temporarily, then we'll go on to another one and then catch back up with this, this one on the way back. It's hard to explain, but that's just the way these paths work. This is now footpath 104 slash 17. Gemma's saying one word, what you're frightened of? Cows. cows. Gemma's heard some cows and seen some cows up on the ground. So she's starting to get a bit worried about the cows. <laughs> I said I'd protect her, but she doesn't believe me. No, she can't protect the cow. Wrestling. <laughs> shoot it. No, I'm not going to shoot it or wrestle it. Well done, Gemma. Not a cross yet. <laughs> that was interesting. We had to walk through a field, and there was there was no there was literally no front path, so it was just a matter of trying to uh, trying to work our way towards the little stream here. But we got there eventually. <laughs> a couple of hundred meters extra, but doesn't matter.
This is path 10439. Um, we've just left the A1 back behind there, the old A1 road. We had to walk by, that's not um, part of the right of way, but we'll have to pass that to get back to here. So, this is the 39, and another sort of 400 meters further up, we join back up to, up to the 104 slash 40. And then that takes us almost home. <coughs> I probably look really sweaty because the sun's come out and it's really hot. Anyway, I'm back on the um, 104 slash 40. I'm just on the way back home. Hope Gemma's put the kettle on for a cup of coffee. She left me about half a mile ago and took the shortcut back home with Alfie. <laughs> 